Okay, uh, hello everyone, welcome to this session. Uh, today we will talk about uh, the high availability and the scalability management of VNF. Okay, first uh, let's introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Xu Haiwei. I'm from uh, AC Solution Innovators, and uh, uh, currently I'm uh, uh, mainly focused on the Sending project, and I'm a Sending core developer. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Xinhui from VMware. Uh, I'm a core developer of Sending project, and uh, also a TSA vote member of the ONAP community. Nice to see you uh, here. Okay, there should be another uh, speaker here. Uh, his name is Xue Feng from uh, JT Corporation, but he uh, didn't come for the visa reason. And we also thank him for the contribution to this talk. Okay, first, uh, the agenda. We will briefly introduce the Tacker and uh, uh, show how Tacker manages the VNF auto scaling. Also, uh, why we need to integrate sending to Tacker and uh, uh, what can sending do for the VNF auto scaling and auto healing? Okay. And uh, okay. Um, about Tacker, uh, Tacker is an open stack uh, project which builds VNF, VNF manager and NFV orchestrator to uh, deploy and uh, operate network services on open stack. Um, in this talk, we mainly focus on the VNF management and uh, we uh, only talk about the VNF instances. So first, uh, <coughs> what is VNF? Uh, VNF is a virtual network function. Uh, for network virtualization, all the network service devices can be virtualized. So the VNF can be a virtual router, a virtual load balancer, a virtual firewall. So uh, in NF way, for telecom use case, uh, there are many VNF uh, working together to provide a network service. So in most cases, the VNF are working together but not uh, separately. So for the VNF management, we need to think about it from a cluster standpoint. Okay, for VNF management, uh, what do we need to do? Um, of course, the VNF lifecycle management is very important and it's already been supported by Tacker project. And besides it, uh, for example, the, uh, there is a virtual load balancer working there and there are many VMs uh, are running under the load balancer. Uh, if the number of the VM is, keep, is keeping increasing, the load balancer will uh, be overloaded and it will went to, uh, the, the performance will go down. So at this time, we need to scale out a new load balancer to solve this problem. All these jobs should be done automatically. Uh, so we need the way NF can be auto-scaled. And for <coughs> another case, there is a virtual firewall working there, and uh, for some reason, the firewall uh, went to an error state. At this time, we hope the VNF can detect uh, its own state and recover itself, it, itself. So we hope the VNF can be auto-healing. These are two very important functions for the VNF management. Okay, let's, uh, first we will talk about the VNF auto-scaling. The VNF auto-scaling has already been supported by Tacker. Uh, Tacker used heat uh, uh, auto-scaling group to support this function. Uh, we can see Tacker uh, used the Tosca template to create a VNF de descriptor. In the descriptor, there are, there are essential properties which, will, which can be used to create a VNF, uh, like a flavor, image, network, and the monitoring policies. All these policies, well, all these uh, properties are 
uh, stored in the database. And when creating a VNF, the descriptor, the, the descriptor will be translated by the heat translator and the tracker to translate it to an HLT template. And then uh, tracker will use all these, uh, or will use the HLT template to request the heat to deploy the VNF. Uh, so we can see uh, in tracker, uh, Tekra's job just uh, tra translating the uh, Tosca template to uh, HLT template, and uh, the autoscaling jobs leads to heat autoscaling group to do it. Okay, let's see how Tekra translated the uh, Tosca template to HLT template. Uh, this, uh, uh, this is a sample of Tosca template, and uh, there are two uh, th th this uh, only contains the uh, policy part. Uh, we can see there are two types of policies, the tacker scaling and the tacker alarming. These two kinds of policies are derived from Tosca policies. So the policy can be passed by the Tosca parser. And uh, by translating these two kinds of policies, we can get uh, the heat auto scaling group resources and uh, heat uh, scaling policy resource, also the LAM resource. All these resources will help to manage the VNF uh, auto scaling. But uh, there is a problem there, that because uh, heat doesn't provide an API for the auto scaling group. So Tekra can't uh, manage the VNF which are newly uh, scaled out. And that means if the VNF is newly scaled out and uh, it went to an error state. Tekra can't handle it. This problem can be resolved by integrating sending to Tekra. Okay, uh, let's see what is Sunny. Sunny uh, is an OpenStack project which provides uh, clustering services. Uh, currently, Sunny provides a container cluster and VM cluster. Before you create a cluster, you need to create a profile. And in the profile, the, pro the essential properties, properties to create a VM or container are defined. And uh, the profile is used to create a node. And a cluster can contain one or, more, or multiple nodes. To help to manage the uh, cluster, a uh, policy is invented. So sending defined many kinds of policies like uh, scaling policy, LB uh, policy, deletion policy. These policies are, can be attached to the cluster, and the rules defining the policies will be triggered when the, there are actions happen to the cluster. For example, uh, if the cluster want to define a node, the deletion policy will be triggered. And, uh, the policy action will follow the deletion policy rules to de delete the node. And there's a, another important uh, module called the uh, receiver. Receiver can receive the alarms from monitoring tools, for example, like a uh, cinemeter. Country sending support two kinds of receivers, webhook and uh, message queue. Okay, <laughs> and uh, let's see how to integrate uh, Send in to Tekra. We can uh, see the this graph. It's uh, <coughs> there is only one change uh, from the original one. That is, uh, we don't use heat to deploy VNF, but uh, using send in to do to do it. So to do this, we need to have send in resources uh, deployed and the sending resources will be deployed by heat. So to do, to do this, we need to uh, write, all the heat re write all the sending resources in HLT template, and then heat will deploy sending first, then sending will deploy the VNFs. Okay, let's see how to do, how to translate the uh, template. 
you can see this template uh, is a little different from the the original one, and we add a, a new property driver to this uh, uh, to the properties. If the driver is a heat, so the 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 send the tackle scaling policy and the tackle alarming policy will be translated to heat scaling group scaling policy. But if the driver is sending the two policies will be translated to sending resources, to sending policy, sending cluster, and sending profile, and just, just part of the template. Okay, there we can see uh, the VNF will become the nodes of a sending cluster. And Tekra can manage all the VNF's life cycle while sending API. So the VNF is, will just be under sending the control. Okay, the task list in Tucker, in Tucker. There, there are three tasks. First, uh, add a template translation function to deploy sending resources for heat. This job is, uh, this job is uh, already implemented and uh, under review. And uh, the second one, modify current APIs to support uh, uh, managing VNF lifecycle manu manually. This job is uh, very, uh, is not uh, difficult. We just need to add a scaling, scaling option to, to do it. And it will be done in future. The third, if a user deploy a VNF, and uh, at that time, the, the user didn't realize that the VNF need to be scaled out, scale, uh, scalable in the future, but, but later he realized the function is needed. At this time, uh, sending can adopt the VNF and uh, make it scalable. This can all be also be done in, in the future. Okay, this, that's all for the VNF uh, auto scaling. And uh, uh, there's another Im important function, auto healing. Currently, Tekra doesn't support the auto healing function. And uh, by in integrating sending to Tekra, uh, auto, auto healing function can also be supported. And Xinhui will introduce this part for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Harvey. Uh, actually, here I would like to give an introduction about what Sunlink can provide about the auto-healing part. Uh, there are four types of availability involved in the OpenStack cloud, actually. Uh, you can see four parts here and uh, list all the factors affect the uh, availability of the OpenStack cloud. Uh, actually, OpenStack can help manage a group of physical hosts and create and delete, you know, do the lifecycle management about uh, a group of VMs or containers over these physical hosts and running, you know, the applications inside the container and the VM. And the four, you know, uh, scrum areas list all the factors uh, uh, affect the uh, availability, such as for the physical host, definitely we need to uh, you know, understand the availability of nodes and the network and the storage, all these things, uh, of course, including the uh, operating system or hypervisor layer of the hosts. Uh, and for the virtual machine part, actually, we also need to careful about the virtual network, virtual storage, and uh, the mobility of the diff uh, over different hosts, and, uh, you know, the management ability. And for the application, uh, we have the terms about uh, service resilience. That's very, very important, actually. We need to handle the quality of service and the cost and uh, transparency and uh, data integrity, all everything together to you know, do the resilience. And of course, we just save time to uh, you know, explain about the part of the OpenStack itself, the control plane. Uh, high availability is definitely, uh, definitely uh, the very important part. Actually, what Sunlink can help is about the uh, VM layer availability and the application layer, part of the uh, application layer. Here, actually, is a, 
uh, graph shows the framework of the Senlin auto -hailing. Um As you can see, actually Senlin provide uh, a clustering service as Highway just uh, mentioned. We can create uh, a group of same type of object and manage it. And then we can use uh, health, care, uh, health management policy to attach the policy uh, to the target cluster. Once they attach, the cluster will, you know, managed by the Senlin engine. The engine will polling or, uh, you know, use some monitors to understand the status of the nodes and the clusters. If any failure is detected, then we will trigger the, uh, you know, the, the whole recover uh, loop. Here you can see, uh, we list the accelerometer and the A because uh, that's actually the OpenStack uh, native uh, monitors. But uh, we are not limited to just uh, accept the alert and the events from the you know, accelerometer like things. Actually, we provide an abstract named uh, receiver. That means we can uh, use webhook or some other thing, uh, uh, Zakhar based event queue to accept a notice from the third party monitors, such as, you know, we have different. Uh, uh, such as uh, open source and both the enterprise level monitor, we can collaborate together to provide a you know auto healing loop. Here actually is an overview about the Senlin you know auto healing design. Here actually uh, you know Senlin backend provides a different uh, engine. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, actually the Senlin engine can be multi instance because we, we need to handle the parallel, you know, request handling things. Uh, here we have a different abstract uh, provided and list on the graph. Uh, you can see Senlin provide, you know, uh, different uh, listening or failure detection mechanism on the left side. Uh, uh, actually, you, you right side, sorry. Uh, you need to, uh, Senlin can help you listening about uh, if any, you know, uh, some specific event is happened or polling. That means if one cluster is uh, uh, registered towards the Senlin engine, we can, uh, you know, detect by polling each node of the cluster to see if the node is active or not. And then we po uh, expose the receiver. The receiver can receive the message and a webhook, you know, from the third party monitors. And then we have policies. The policy can control the, uh, help, help customize and control the placement and the health management part. And uh, the least but uh, very important thing is uh, Sunny is uh, uh, provide actually a framework to manage different type of the object. We can support the heat stack, also Nova, and uh, you know, the physical host and the container, of course. Here, that means we can manage no matter what type of the object and attach the health policy with it, and then manage the health and uh, you know, auto healing things. In the followed slides, actually, I would like to go through the uh, different uh, uh, running time from the deployment to the placement to the and, uh, you know, recover loop. Because in different phases, actually, Senlin provide a different help for the auto healing purpose, such as for the deployment. Actually, this phase is definitely related to the availability. Why? Because, uh, for example, we need to handle affinity and anti affinity and across room. That can only be done by the deployment time, and it has a long you know, impact at the runtime. So, how for Senlin to handle, uh, you know, in this case, actually we uh, provide the affinity anti affinity policy and the cross AZ policy by attach such kind of policy with a cluster. We can control, you know, where a new node is placed when, you know, we, we need to create the cluster. Uh, we can, you know, balance all the workload uh, into different room to increase uh, 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 to increase the availability, and uh, we can uh, point out uh, what kind of node group should be anti affinity to into different node. So that's very helpful. And uh, uh, once start the uh, runtime, actually we can attach 
the health policy with one cluster. Once attach a policy with a cluster, actually the cluster will write, uh, actually underlying certainly will register this cluster to the, uh, you know, health manager. Actually, that's a daemon uh, of service running inside the Selenium engine. The engine will uh, detect the, all the uh, members of the register cluster to see the status is uh, uh, right. If not, we will trigger the recovery things. You, you can see this way is, uh, you know, internal, uh, uh, internal detection way. That means, uh, you know, Selenium will handle this uh, purely automatically. And it is also customizable. That means we can decide to use the node status polling or, you know, listening to the specific VM, you know, life cycle events since, you know, the polling maybe have some, you know, negative impact on the performance when scale is large. So we allow uh, the users to choose the VM life cycle events, this kind of detection way to find the failure. And actually, we, uh, we allow, you know, uh, integration with uh, third-party monitors. That means besides the embed way Selenium provided to find the, you know, the failure, we allow to integrate with uh, open source uh, monitors such as Selometer, Monosca, and uh, Nigel, all these things. Or we can um, integrate with uh, enterprise-level monitors such as uh, uh, VMware, VROps, we already do that, and uh, it's uh, purely, you know, amazing. And we have Arkin to know, you know, more details about the network, uh, you, you know, the port intention and underlying, you know, uh, jump, all these, you know, trace things. That's very useful. All these, you know, integration with a third-party monitor is done by receiver, this abstract. We have two ways to receive the third-party alerts. One is message. That's uh, just like a Zakhar-based message queue. The other is a webhook. Actually, it's a URL with authentication and then the target cluster. So that kind of URL will um, let the thing to know what kind of thing we need to trigger once the failure happens. And the, uh, once the failure detected, we need to do the recover. Selenium actually provides very rich uh, kinds of uh, support to the recover. But the recover action definitely related to what kind of object, what, what's the type of, you know, the, the object uh, that Selenium is managed. Such as for the uh, heat stack, we have different uh, kinds of uh, actions such as uh, recreate, update, and convert. That's because, you know, hit stack uh, allow such kind of uh, operation. For the NOVA, actually the uh, objects, we have more, you know, uh, operations can be uh, on the option list. We can reboot, rebuild, and recreate. The recreate uh, actually including the processing about function because, you know, we need to sure, okay, uh, uh, a failed node is really died or some negative impact will happen. And uh, we need to handle the recover maybe sometimes by live or cold migrate. That means maybe, you know, this host is not reliable. We need to, you know, migrate to another host. And uh, in the past uh, cycle, actually, we integrated already with Mistral. That means uh, once the failure happens, we allow the user to run a workflow they already used or you know, in the practice, we, they already verified the a, a sequence of the, uh, you know, recovery process is very useful for their environment. Definitely, in this way, they can just reuse it by, you know, into the Selenium uh, auto healing loop. And of course, we have many different kinds of hypervisor, such as VMware, we have the fault tolerant. And, uh, uh, you know, other hypervisor have some, you know, specific processing about uh, the high availability things and auto healing things. We definitely should support or expose all these actions to support the, you know, for the scenario of the auto healing. So that's uh, what we can provide. And how to, how to connect 
the different kind of you know choice of the uh, options of the recorrection with uh, you know once uh, some uh, failure happens, we still use the health policy I, where uh, we can recover that we need to. Uh, define what kind of a failure is a failure for the target cluster, and what uh, interview you should use to detect, uh, you know, p uh, in some period, and uh, what kind of recovery action you want. So that's, uh, you know, totally sending provided. Okay, thank you. That's my part. Thank you. And uh, <coughs> finally, we'll make a summary and uh, outlook uh, about uh, this uh, session. Okay, by invite, integrating Selenium to Tekra, what can we do? Uh, actually, we can make the VNF auto scaling more f uh, flexible and manageable. And uh, also, the VNF auto healing part, this function is not supported by Tekra yet, and uh, we can do it by Selenium. And besides uh, these two parts, Selenium, because Selenium has more policies like uh, the load balance policy, deletion policy, and those policies can also be used to manage the VNF. So this maybe this, these things can be uh, help the VNF management uh, in the future. So we can improve it, I, I, invite them to take her. Okay, that's all for the presentation. Is there any questions? Hi, uh, just a curiosity. Um, what is that uh, Tosca to heat translator? Can you talk about it? You. Uh, this one? This yes, how, how is that conversion? How does that conversion work? The conversion? Uh, th this uh, can be done by heat translator, and uh, so, so that is that is the name of the tool. This heat translator. So I look that in Google, heat translator, and it will come up. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for this session.